What does it take to be a musician in Los Angeles? If you want to devote all of your time to rehearsing and to making something happen that you believe in, what are you willing to put aside? What are you willing to do without? That's a really good question. I play in a band called Cashmere. The way I usually go about songwriting is um, I'll have a melody that just comes into my head and I'll try to record it as quickly as I can. And I'll try to arrange chords to it. That sometimes can be difficult for me. Sometimes I'll bring it to someone. We're supporting each other to find the main story of the song and find that common sound. Your home at last. I wrote another song recently called Howling at the Moon, which I'm super proud of which is kind of about the changes you go through throughout life and it's also about the sacrifices you make to make those changes. That song's really personal and holds true to me and I'm really happy that I was able to get it out. Leaves me wide away. Maybe about two years ago, my friend Max who was in the actual with me, he had this idea for a tour and when it came time it got cancelled because I had other obligations with selling for Rockets, I had to miss it so I decided since I had spent that much time rehearsing and getting ready, that I would take this time to make a record, you know, and actually have something to show for it. And now we're, you know, playing shows with this current lineup in Kashmir. The greatest struggle would be when you hear how great something can be and you want it to get there. What does it take to get everybody together to get to that place? And usually what that is is time. You need a lot of time to rehearse and time together and time to work little things out without the pressure of you know having to leave. But I feel like the more that we rehearse, the more we see that happening. I think it's just like a constant juggling of schedules and I think all the musicians that I know in Los Angeles is the same way. Oh, I guess that. Yeah. I like yeah. that better. Yeah. Because it's more like, it's, yeah. Playing lots of groups, you know, just trying to coordinate, getting everybody together. It can be challenging, you know, but when we get to rehearse, it's great. It's for like pillow talk, you know, like the other person's kind of asleep and you're like, you know, it's, it's like really soft, like. All right, let's try it again and then try the harmony. Yeah. <laughs> feels good to be able to express this story through Barry's vision for his music. And for me, I find myself these days you have to kind of just be in things that you believe in and something that you, you want to put your energy into. The music business is changing. It's created a lot of openings. As a group, where we're at, there's a lot of different ways for us to kind of slip in and start to make money. I mean, that's really what you believe you know, can happen at some point where you can start to eventually survive by your art. And I know that really, we all believe in that. It's something that's possible. It's just got to be worth fighting for. We'll be thinking 